Hello, this is Vaughn Clement, and in this tour we're going to be covering project planning. I want to start off by saying that I'm going to be hitting the high points only. As you can see, there are a number of screens in this particular product, and each screen has a great deal of complexity. So I suggest what you do is to read the user guide on our website to get more details about how to use this application. Let's just go ahead and start the, the tour and look at the high points for each part of this tour. Each individual project has a project data input screen. As you can see here, we're looking at a power plant control system. This is, so this is an engineering product project. It has the basic information about the cost and date drivers the management crew for the project that are going to be taking care of the project members. And these are scrollable portals, so you can add as many people as you want to to this. There's the project vendors that are going to be a part of this particular proposal and the information that helps you to locate about the particular vendor. And then there's a project listing. And this is a select screen where you can jump between different projects and see the information. Each one of these have uh, icons that you can click on that will allow you to jump to a different project, to take and look at different vendor information as far as this project is concerned, or look at the individual team members in the project to see the information about their cost elements. Let's take a look at those first. Uh, for each cost member in the team or project member, you can tell the project they're in, what the project is as far as the elements that are going to be costed. And then here is a breakdown of the individual. And this can either be by a day, week, or monthly cost. And you can watch the individual things that are talked about in here by these categories. And then they're summarized to see this individual and what the cost is for this individual in the project. Let's go back to the team schedule. The team schedule for this particular person, as you look at each one of them, would be broken down in a, a spreadsheet type of a uh, view so you can see all the different things that you need to as far as this particular individual is concerned. Let's now look at the vendor assignments. The vendor assignment is an important part of your project in that you're assigning vendors to provide services or products to your particular proposal effort or project. In this case, it states the client uh, project description, the proposal and information for that particular project, the deliverables for the individual project. So you're tracking each individual major cost element as far as a WBS breakdown. Uh, I don't have them, but there's a city and address that can be added in here for this particular vendor. Then down here on the bottom are vendor uh, meetings and calls. And what this is basically doing is it's tracking vendor responsibilities and your company responsibilities and interaction as far as tracking those elements in this portal. You can have as many records as you want to add to this portal. So there is an unlimited number of tracking that you can do. There's a vendors table, and basically it lists all the vendors that are available to your projects. And it keeps a master list of those. Then there are project specifications. And this is probably one of the most important parts of the project, uh, application project planning. This particular screen starts a process where you can do a specification tree for the project that we're talking about and have a flow down of the specifications all the way through listing the titles and information and then within each specification you can break down the specification tracking. This is both from the, the management of the project down through each engineer and project person within their uh, project where you're tracking anything that will support uh, elements and requirements and actual deliverables within that particular specification. So this would be a top-down of each one of the parts of the specification tree as you break down each part of it. 
Let's go back to the home page. The next part is a very important part also. This is the drawing tree. And basically what you're doing is you're taking the specification tree and then adding all the drawings that are related to that particular specification. Uh, if you take a look at the drawing table and drawing tree report and parts tree and parts data, each individual element is covered in the user guide and basically what these do is break down uh, all the parts of the drawings. Now one interesting part of this is, is that you can take a drawing and basically duplicate a new project using, if you had the same type of a uh, project that you were doing, using the drawings and then modifying the drawing tree to provide a quote based on the cost. So it's a very important part of the entire project planning to have this kind of a information, obviously right down to the type of drawing it is. So you can have multiple drawings in this. Down here is the drawing select portal where you can jump through and look at each individual drawing as far as what is in that drawing as far as the drawing tree is concerned. As far as the parts tree, this breaks down the parts in a report for that particular drawing and this is searchable so you can do a find based on a project or and or a, a, a drawing number or and or a part number and then the usable on as far as that particular part is concerned and then the drawing statuses for all these. So you have drawing control as well and revision dates for those particular drawings. So this is an overall system for managing drawings. And then there is a parts data. Parts data is basically a pick list of specific parts within a project where you want to do a close-up view and do more specification or and or vendor related comments and information about that particular part. Uh, there tends to be certain products that are designed where parts have to be designed and there are details about them as they're going through that you can document in this screen. And as you can see down here, you have the individual parts that are currently in this draw, uh, parts data tree where you can bounce back and forth between them and review the information that was provided for those. There's also a data listing, so you can jump through and pick the individual data list and look at the individual items. Okay, this is an overview, but I want to point out also that there is a project, project table, a vendor table, a specification table, and a drawing table. There are also the team schedules, uh, deliverable, uh, deliverables table, table specifications, drawing tables, and listings and the parts tree and team report. These are all the items within this box and these tables right here are not provided on the iPad because the iPad cannot manage reports of this uh, technical uh, nature. Uh, they do not do listings, but they do have a, a non-custom listing that you can use that is explained in the user guide. I thank you for uh, looking at this tour and I suggest again that you read the user guide to better understand this particular product. Thank you.